This is my E36 and it currently has one major problem. The suspension. The front is lowered on Bilstein struts with I believe Eibach springs, while the rear is Bilstein shocks and a spring adjuster setup. And this is where the problem lies. This is the front driver's side where from the ground to the fender I've got 25 inches. And here on the passenger side I've only got 23 and 3 quarter inches. That's not a huge difference, but uh, basically an inch lower on this side. The problem lies in the fact that I'm rubbing the fender with this wheel. So I need to look into this and see what's causing it. With the car off the ground now, the first thing I wanna do is check the suspension droop and see that that's the same on side to side. This won't tell me much, but give me an idea if maybe something's getting hung up on one side or the other. So here on the driver's side, we've got about five inches from the tread to the fender. And here on the passenger side, we've got about the same, about five inches from side to side, maybe a little less. Now that I have the car up in the air and I have the droop measured, I'm gonna pull the wheels off. I wanna see if the sway bar is centered completely. Uh, if it's not, it could potentially be pulling one of the wheels lower or, you know, kind of giving more uh, one side of the suspension more tension than the other. So I'm going to try that and see what the sway bar looks like. So one thing I noticed with the sway bar is there's definitely more tension on this ball joint here in the sway bar end link than there is on the other side. The other side's pretty much completely uh, straight with no tension on it. This is a six cylinder sway bar I put on when I put a six cylinder in this car um, So I'm gonna basically remove the sway bar Reinstall it and see if I can get that to even up See if that makes a difference. Well, the sway bar is off. I actually threw the wheels back on What I'm gonna do is put the car on the ground and see if that settled any height issues uh, See if they're matched. I might have to drive it a little bit to get things to settle But like I said that one end link was definitely uh under more force than the other or under more load or load compared to the other one at all. Um, so I'm going to see if that did anything. Did a little, a little more measuring. Everything's measuring pretty much the same side to side now, but that's with the droop. So that's kind of hard to say because it's not loaded. Also check the top hats uh, to see if maybe they were different part numbers or anything. They both seem okay. Uh, both springs don't seem to be cut. Uh, they are iBox lowering springs. So now I'm going to, like I said, throw it on the ground, see if anything changed now with that sway bar removed. As you can see, that did nothing. So I'm gonna jack it back up on both sides. I'm gonna pull the strut. See if I can see anything going on with the strut, the top hat, the spring. Uh, check the control arm, make sure it's not bent because something is not right. Got both struts out now. Now I'm just gonna take some measurements, compare the top hats, compare all the part numbers, and make sure that these are actually like for like parts. It's the next day, but after having the struts out, comparing them side by side, everything was the same. Uh, the only thing I can think of maybe that has a little bit to do with this is the springs are iBox, I think for a 318, which spring rate from a 318 to a 325 or 328 is probably different or should be different. Um, I know the weight difference of the cars isn't crazy difference, but that could be one of the problems. Regardless, I put everything back together yesterday and now after it's settled, driving it last night about 15 miles, taking another like five mile drive today, it's greatly improved. There's not a ton of rubbing coming from the passenger front anymore. The other thing I noticed is my driveway is not the flattest place, apparently, to be measuring uh, and looking at it. I was at the car wash and at the gas station, and the gap's almost the same when you're there on perfectly flat surfaces. So, with that, I'm pretty content with it. Like I said, rubs a little bit, not a crazy much. Um, when I'm in the car, too, my weight definitely accounts for some of the gap on the driver's side that's left. So it evens out, but uh, the gap I initially had, I think the suspension just wasn't necessarily settled all the way. Sway bar might have had something to do with it. Definitely loaded more uh, on that passenger side, but that problem seems to be fixed. With that, this is probably the last video with this car. Somebody's supposed to be coming on Thursday of this week to look at it. 
which means the end of this thing it's finally gone after two and a half years of buying it building it and then probably sitting on it for sale for the last i don't know three months um what's funny is i had a different set of wheels on it i had forge lines um wasn't getting a ton of interest with it with those wheels on for a little higher of a price i picked up a different set of wheels uh cheaper wheels put tires on those put those on was able to reduce the price and then i got interest and that's how it's going to sell on these cheaper 16 inch wheels uh they're milli miglias i do still have the forge lines which now that the car will be gone uh i plan to sell pretty firm on a price on those uh because i don't really have to sell them but i'll put them on the market anyway but like i said should be the last video with this car thanks for watching